All right, I'm going to answer the next letter here. This is husband and wife name. So it's, his name is R, her name is N, last name begins with a K. Um, and they are from Walkerton, Indiana. All right, this is December 15th, 2019, so going back pretty far here. I have to be careful about not reading names here. Um, my wife, N, and I are both born-again Christians and are celebrating our 51st wedding anniversary this year. N was born again first, and I am blessed and thankful to God that she was and is a 1 Peter 3, verses 1 through 6 wife. It was through the Holy Spirit working in me, I started reading and studying the Bible and N's parents, or patience, patience, prayers, and godly actions that I was born again. You know, the Bible talks about that, actually, that, that uh, if any obey not the word, you know, that they can be won through the chaste conversation of their wife. So, praise the Lord. That's great. We both were brought up Roman Catholic and are very familiar with the heresy that they teach and are blessed to have heard your preaching about the false Roman Catholic or Roman Church's uh, blasphemous teachings and corrupting of the true Bible. In our walk with the Lord, we have been members of a conservative Mennonite church and left as the Holy Spirit revealed to us false unbiblical teachings they held. For a short, short time, we visited an independent Baptist church. We grew concerned about the pastor's unwillingness to discuss or comment on his biblical beliefs including his support of the Jewish people and their place in end-time prophecy. Not quite sure on that one, but we were concerned when the pastor kept lifting up Jack Hiles as his mentor and godly man. My wife searched the internet about Hiles, and we never went back to that congregation. Yeah, the Hiles cult is super bad. He sent out a lot of people, so you got to be real careful. Oh, it's an independent fundamental Baptist church. Well, okay, who's it tied back to? If you get the Jack Hiles type, they will mess up salvation. They will typically be very violent towards their children or very bad towards their wives. There will be sexual perversion that they'll cover up. That's the Hiles type of churches. And you'll see it. You just do the research. I mean, I showed some of that stuff in my study on Hiles. If you get a Bob Jones type of a Baptist church, um, you'll get the guy up there and he'll correct the King James Bible from the, the pulpit. He doesn't believe what he's in the book he's preaching from. A Ruckman type, um, that can be iffy. I've met some... Uh, graduates of PBI, Pensacola Bible Institute, that are decent. Others are pretty much nutty. Um, yeah, there's different types of Baptists out there, but you know, you gotta you gotta watch out for that stuff. Um, continuing with the letter here, it says we continued searching for KJV only Holy Spirit filled preacher that boldly preached the truth, and who could expand our understanding and knowledge of the Word. We started listening to your preaching and being good Bereans. We tested your preaching against the word and found it to be true to the word. We have learned much from you. Your preaching explained verses in ways we've never heard preached before and expanded our, knowledge, our understanding and knowledge of the word. Regarding your message, does John prophesy isolation before the catching up? My wife and I experienced all the situations you covered in the message, including concerns about not being members of a mortar and brick church. Yeah. It was a blessing hearing you discuss the issue of isolation. You're preaching on the true church not being a mortar and brick building here on earth, but the body of born-again believers opened our eyes and we are no longer searching for the church-building congregation to join. We are viewers of your YouTube preaching and understand what it means here on earth to being members of the true church of Jesus Christ. Well, praise the Lord. The YouTube thing is, is problematic in a lot of areas, but you know you can learn from me there's other preachers out there that you can learn from but final authority it's always here okay this message and all your other messages have been a great encouragement to us and we have grown in our knowledge and understanding of the word tremendously thank you for being faithful and the courage to preach the truth boldly god bless you and your wife and you and son and keep you safe we are praying for you thank you very much in closed okay they talk about support there um your brother and sister in Christ, I give their name here. P.S. I have attempted to log into KingJamesVideoMinistries.com and KingJamesVideoMinistries.org, but I have forgotten my password and which email account I used. I checked and found that the email account is, gives his email. I attempted to find my name in the members tab, but can only find my name, so I want to create a login and was notified that I already had a login. Using the forgot password, I did receive an email to reset my password and to was told the reset was successful. When I attempted to log in, it failed. I looked for my name in the members tab without success. I've tried several times over the past week. Please help me get our login reset. 
Um, if you're talking about my website, it's not really the best system. And KingJamesVideoMinistries.org, which is actually run by another brother. It's not run by me. I don't have two websites that I run. I can barely run mine because I'm, I'm an idiot when it comes to Internet, you know, stuff. <laughs> I, my, my understanding of technology is very limited, um, just being honest. But uh, my website, I have to actually approve members. So sometimes I get behind in that. I forget myself and, and people say, hey, you know, trying to be a member here and whatever. And so if you want to be part of something, I would suggest the King James Video Ministries org. He runs it a lot better than I run mine, um, my website, because my website's just kind of a weird thing and whatever else. But uh, we're going to be doing more stuff in, in the future. Uh, I know that the brother that runs KingJamesVideoMinistries.org, he's actually redoing the whole website right now. So, And uh, we'll see what things happen in the future there. But um, thank you very much for your letter and your support. Um, and thank you very much for your prayers. We really do appreciate that.